Hey everyone, welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a closer look at the current ultimate stage boss, Begilding Death Yu Mao Yi. Like always, we'll only be taking a look at the active skill since the leader skill is not that useful compared to other meta cards. At CD8, her skill allows you to choose a type of runestone and convert them into enchanted human runes. By dissolving all runes of this type in the first batch, both her and Xiang Yu will be able to deal damage regardless of puzzle shield. Additionally, she will nullify the damage from burning runes and the more types of runes you dissolve, the higher the team attack to the max of 2.8. In my opinion, her skill is pretty useful. The first effect is pretty good since you can select which rune type you want to enchant. This is useful against locked runes since some enemies will only lock one attribute. In certain scenarios, it will also be useful for satisfying enchanted puzzle shields. The second effect is not that great since it doesn't apply to the entire team. If the enemy has high HP, you'll have a hard time killing it since only Xiang Yu and Yu Miao Yu will be able to launch attacks. In my opinion, it would be better to bring a craft and that way have your entire team ignore the puzzle shield. Moving on to the third effect, I think that this effect alone is what makes her an important card to get. Ignoring burning runes is very situational, but it's a pretty rare skill. Yu Miao Yi will be the first dark card to be able to ignore burning runes with her active skill, and she will be the only currently obtainable human card. The other cards that can ignore burning runes are all fire type, and the other human is a collaboration card that is not available right now. This means that by farming her, you will have more flexibility when team building against stages with burning runes. Moving on to her fourth effect, this is just a bonus damage boosting skill, which is always nice to have. In terms of team building, she can be useful with any leader that can use a dark or a human card. More specifically, she will definitely fit a Xiang Yu team, since her skill literally has his name in one of the effects. Moreover, burning runes is one of the few things that Xiang Yu cannot counter, so this card would be a good addition to his team. Unfortunately, she will only fit the rainbow team setup, since she doesn't have an attribute change team skill. In terms of other team leaders, the other two meta team leaders that I can see using Yu Miao Yi are Enkidu and Edward. Overall, I think this card is very useful since it's the only one of its attribute that can nullify burning runes, and I would say it's a must get. So go and finish farming her while the ultimate stage is still available. That will be all for this review. As always, please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!